drivers good morning. Are you shy now? Tell them good morning. Well, good morning. Welcome back. We are really close to being done. I don't know if we can pull it off today or not, but we're going to try. We've got about 60 acres here in this field where I'm at right now. And we've got 28 acres left at Grandpa's house. Um, our plan is to move over there, knock that out because it's got to go to the elevator. This other 60 is going in the bin, so uh, we could possibly finish it tomorrow if we had to because the elevators won't be open tomorrow. So I'm going to run out here, start the tractor. We got the auger cart full of corn. We got to dump it in the bin before we move. So I got the uh, semis running. I'm going to start this tractor, let it warm up while I bring the semi out here. We ran pretty late last night. We quit about 10, 10.30. It's pretty frosty, as you can see on the corn head. That's not snow, that's just frost from all the corn stalks. Um, it got down, I think it's got down to 22 last night. Pretty frosty again this morning, so we'll get things fired up. Forgot the key in the truck. notice we've been using the dump trailers for this farm that's because we've got a pretty tight farm bridge to cross to get here see the bridge is not the problem it's right after you get off the bridge you got to make a hard right turn to not go into the ditch well, the hoppers are too long, you can't make the turn. So for this, there's 115-ish acres back here. We have to use our short dump trailers, which it's not bad. We usually put it in the bin at home. So it works out. We've got the two trailers, auger cart. We can usually keep up pretty good. Truck's full. If you load these trailers up, they can haul, I think, around 700 bushels of dry corn. This corn's pretty wet, so probably only about 600.
look like it snowed last night, but it's just frost off the corn. We just got started here. We're gonna load the auger cart in the truck. And uh, Dad had to haul a couple loads of gravel this morning, so he's about on his way back. We're gonna get that loaded up, throw it in the bin, and then probably move over to that other farm. Hopefully we can knock that out today. but it always seems like the last hundred or so acres just takes forever. We either have breakdowns or the weather doesn't cooperate. This year it's been cold. So uh, weather doesn't look too great for the next few days. There's a chance of snow and rain all day today. And then tomorrow will be nice. Monday is supposed to be nice, but we have to haul our seed beans Monday. So that'll probably shoot that. And then there's a chance of rain Tuesday. And that one sounds like a pretty good chance. It's going to be a fight to the finish. We've got to hustle if we want to try and get this done. We got everything loaded up. I've got a little bit left in the combine that wouldn't fit in the cart. I'm gonna run it up to the house and dump it in the truck while he's dumping it in the bin. And uh, I think the plan is to move, so that's what I'm banking on anyway. started snowing again. Well, we pushed it a little too hard and we iced up the sieves, so we're going to bring it in the shop and start thawing it out. And it's snowing. Lovely. We don't have a heated shop, so I've got the chopper raised up. We're going to put the torpedo heater under it and uh, Thaw it out best we can. Here's that old gearbox that went out. This is what happened. Seal went out on the shaft that runs the top sprocket. I think the cluster gears are fine. The problem is it got into the case right here. So I think the actual gearbox itself is shot. Plus the seal was out on this part that runs the knife roll. So it's, uh, we gotta take it back for a core and we'll see what they say. I want the door closed.
what you want your cleaning area to look like. The problem is, the snow builds up and it doesn't let the corn fall through the sieves and then you lose it out the back. And that means you lose money. Well, we've got it part of the way thought out. We're gonna back it out of the shed and run the machine a little bit and see if we can blow the chunks of ice out the back before they uh, freeze down. It is like mid 30s, so it's not really freezing temps, but it's still cold outside. So, see what we got here. I'm gonna shut my sieves down all the way. That way we're blowing everything out the back. There we go. Hi, Dilly. All right, let's see what happens. got most of it off the bottom sieve I can't really see the top one so we're gonna pull it back in the shed and put some more heat on it there is some snow up by the shoe augers yet and uh, yeah Ew. well we got the combine pretty much thawed out and the rain slash snow slash ice slash whatever it was kind of quit um, it's already two o'clock we really don't want to run any more wet corn. I mean, wet, but like the stalks are wet through that machine because there's a bunch of junk built up in the cleaning area. And we really needed to run some dry stuff through to get it good and cleaned out. So we'll probably be done for the day. And I think we're probably gonna have to work tomorrow on Sunday. I really don't like working on Sundays, but sometimes you just have to. The circumstances that we're in, we just need to get done. There's rain coming next week and Frankly, we're just tired of harvest. We're tired of 2019. We're ready for 2020. So, once again, thanks for watching. Um, maybe next time it'll be a little better video. This one wasn't very long, but thanks for watching anyway. We'll see you on the next one.